Well, this storm actually has been uh, downgraded overnight to a medium force typhoon from a, a strong typhoon, and that's because the uh, sustained winds in the center of the, the typhoon has dropped from 183 kilometers an hour to 172. But still, people are quite worried because uh, even with uh, medium force typhoons in Taiwan, we've seen that it, they could cause a lot of damage, like the one in 2009, which caused a lot of mudslides and brought a lot of rain and killed nearly 700 people. So people are battling down their. Um, We've seen on t local television lots of people going to grocery stores, stocking up on food, people bringing in anything that could fall off balconies uh, inside, and uh, they're also preparing for, for to stay indoor for about 24 hours to avoid being uh, injured by the strong wind and the heavy rain. Now, the, the agricultural sector, which is usually the, the most devastated, uh, the, the farmers are sort of harvesting their crops earlier, and then the uh, aquaculture fisheries. Uh, a sector has also been bringing up the fish from the fish pond because surely they'll be flooded. So that's what people are mainly doing. Now, so far, we've already seen the transportation sector affected. Uh, some domestic flights have already been canceled to outlying islands, and ferry service has also been suspended. So the mood here is kind of a wait and see. So far, we're not getting heavy rain yet. We're just getting a drizzle, as you can see behind me. But the storm is supposed to arrive around 2 p.m., the periphery of it, and we're going to feel the brunt of it tonight. Uh, it's going to bring heavy rain throughout Taiwan.